Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another MK Ultra case. If you want to call this MK Ultra uh, a highest profile ever, is what I was taught to regard this case as the highest MK Ultra profile case ever. You know what this was? This was a 26 years of torture physical and mental harrowing nerve-wracking harrowing torture on during which sessions I would be oftentimes deprived of sleep for entire week brought from one location to other death threatened beaten up that's what this shit is all about and got to see me it more than just people entire world through this direct under protectoratum under direction of united nations case it commenced in united states of america in 1995 from where i have not immigrated anywhere in the world for entire 11 and a half years uh, finally returned on August of 2006 uh, yet I was all over the world I was distributed all over the world by Central Intelligence Agency through London through British Royals Canada London and also other Western European destinations uh, especially here back to Slovenia where I immigrated from uh, and to therefore especially to Eastern Europe locations such Poland Czech Republic Slovakia Russia Belarus Serbia it was pretty much for the sake of um, Ukraine too it was pretty much for the sake of Serbia and Russia that Sia accommodated uh, adversary which wanted to get a hold of me at all costs on a day I left Slovenia in 1995 okay so in this case what I'm gonna do I'm gonna point out to you uh, two gentlemen I've met Let's see the video here. There you go. Two guys identified there yesterday. Yesterday. So that's just on the opposite side of the river. Uh, it was on August the 20 of 2022. I stated yesterday, yeah. Because the day after I have identified more people and unfortunately suffered accident plot deliberate incident at a dam up the river uh, so these are the two guys I have managed to identify now if I was to go to a novel master city if I zoom myself out there is a river right in front of uh, it's a riverfront property right in front of our house and that pretty much would look like like this That will be basically our house and the people I have just mentioned. Um, I think this here, probably something like this. So this would be basically something like this yeah 
I did mention earlier today on my new site already and I'm gonna repeat to you now uh, I got to repeat to you that with exception to year 2007 when I returned from the US for the first time I returned in 2006 but in 2007 and 2008 is when I bought a fishing license uh, with exception on a few occasions that I went on the river in 2007 um, maybe even in 2008 but I don't think so because I, I would not even go and use boat the same like a garden I didn't go uh, I was told I'm mice so I avoided garden I wouldn't want to take any fruit anything vegetable whatever the hell with it I never was on the river so any other opportunity you have seen me on the river and it was a whole lot of people there will be more people I'm gonna identify in the next recording um, yeah, river was completely alive this is the same thing like uh, like you walk down the street all the people that live along the river were meeting me during this so-called MK Ultra procedure uh, a lot of people wanted to help and there were also some strange cookies in between all this uh, if I take you I have to do this you will never ever be able to see me on the river the only time you would have seen me most most in the river would be in 2007 I did publish this stuff and I'm gonna accent unless you have seen me by myself on the river never ever I was on the river the only time I was on the river that I can say I was in the river with a boat was in year 2007 other than that you have not seen me on the river everything else meaning that everything else in between for the last 26 years talking about since 1995 everything else means especially what I'm trying to say not specially but whenever I was on the river with other people it was always through MK Ultra always was MK Ultra so just bear in mind what I in mind what I stated right now and let me finish this video there you go two guys identified there yesterday yesterday just a day, a day earlier than today today is August the 21st two guys identified right there well some did it was Vladimir Putin oh you're gonna say how is that possible well some did very very possible where our mall is that's from our parcel right there that's where our parcel is right it is it is possible it's very very possible uh, they were performing we're gonna do this again so there it is And that's our basically our mall right there that you see that white thing right there that's that so this is this is a neighbor right across the river we can say this a neighbor there's nothing else to say I did silenced uh, because it, it involved I silenced the video because it involved also next to the the two guys that I managed to identify there is also 
a bigger structure, bigger property behind that you see, right? So this here, these are the guys uh, that I have spoken with. The property is right here. Right? So that's that. Uh, property that is behind the two guys I have identified and the two guys prompted me there are some Ukrainian girls there's a lot of Ukrainian girls in there the Ukrainian girls were here already long time ago they would come from Ukraine the first Ukrainian girls that will come from Ukraine uh they started to come here periodically sometimes in 2001 2002 uh even before they started to come here and there they popped up you know the ukrainian girls what can i what can i tell you the ukrainian girls i met a lot of ukrainian girls I met her too. I met her too. A wife of uh, Dmitry Peskov. That's a spokesman of Vladimir Putin. I met a lot of Ukrainian girls. Yeah, they were coming here literally with, not with Vladimir Putin, but through the channels, which basically somehow Russians didn't mind them to come and earn some money here and there, if you know what I mean. That grew into bigger and bigger relationship with the owner of this place here that you see. Um, you know, that's just basically enough said. There were business people from all over Slovenia that would come uh, to visit. There's nothing else to say for me. I think I was clear about it. Now, what I want to do is, I just want to go and get basically a job done here. That this thing here applies to me. So we're going to go to 30 minutes and 35 first. Well, I forgot. I told him, hey, the two of you guys are friends already for 30 years. And he says, 15 years. Well, he says, you know, he says, hmm, he says, 15 years, he said, 15 years, that's his word against mine, and it's not true. He is wrong about it. He's absolutely wrong about it. Uh, the two are not friends 30 years, and they're not friends 15 years, but they 100% are friends for at least 20 years. They do know each other for 20 years. They do know each other from 2002. And you know how I know? Because the guy, the second guy who doesn't want to speak to me, he tried with employment again sometimes in 2000, and like around 2002. And it just didn't work out for him. It appears, I think that he tried right across the street and he probably didn't do a job too well. This is the guy you're not going to hear. This guy got involved in MK Ultra sometimes in 1996. And I think he actually even participated Hunger Games in Poland. He had a sister, a really beautiful sister, who just is younger than what he is. I think, I'm pretty sure that she is younger, 
uh, that I liked very much under MK Ultra, but she didn't like me. She went for somebody else, or I don't know what happened. And he, uh, it appears sometimes in 98, 99, that he had a problem finding work. I remember his mom. Um, and it was, did he got a job? I am not even sure where. Maybe next door in a Kirka Pharmaceutical or something like this. He got a job and was a good job. Something like this. I don't know. It was a Kirka Pharmaceutical. I'm not sure. But in the vicinity that he got a job. Uh, and that was a short-lived job. After a few months, he quit the job. Uh, claimed that he was caught uh, giving statements like a Nazi statements to me. And as I stated, everything, they have surveillance. They use me jerked up to surveillance people. That's what he claimed. And it was a psychiatrist from Ljubljana Poly that gave him ultimatum to either go on a permanent unemployment or uh, inside of the... Uh, actually obtain some uh, financial support through the psychiatric, social services, whatever. Uh, or simply be completely destroyed if he, in case he would continue to look for job. To me, this doesn't make a lot of fucking sense. Um, they did to me after all the same thing and I never gave in. But then on the other hand, that's very possible actually. Hard to tell. Hard to tell what it was. Um, I would say that most of the people in the United States of America and the West, in Russia and in Serbia, lied about the injuries. They lied about the injuries. I don't think any of them got any kind of injuries through this case. And they had to lie. Because the goal here was to break me down. A knowledge lies as real and get punished. Basically to build guilt through the lies against me, uh, cause as much psychological, mental, therefore, and physical harm, because those are the issues that I afterwards was faced with. Uh, and like I said, use guilt weapon against me. And so I don't know how much I would believe this guy. I don't know how much anybody would just go and say, okay, fuck it, let me take uh, 200, 300 euros per month and I'll be happy to have no job. I don't know. The guy, you here, became involved in year 99, became, obtained job in the military in Berlin. Uh, actually, he even got involved earlier. And got the job through this case in the military in Berlin. Uh, and so I know that people were involved in this stuff. They knew each other way more. That's one of the things. It can be 15 years. 15 years is, uh, how can I say? That would be like 2007. And I know that for the second time when this guy went, to become a jobless for like two years or whatever, three years that he spent jobless and then he wanted to establish himself again. It was exactly this guy uh, that he started to associate him uh, with a lot. So given that information out, you're going to at least year 2002, something like this. And that gives about 20 years of time that the two of these people were friends. You're going to hear the gentleman also talk about his dog, that his dog is three years old. That's not possible either, because the dog already was in the picture when I had way more kilos. Now you're talking about at least 2018, that's at least 40 years, but I think five years is what this dog already has. This dog most likely already is five years old. He says three years, no, five years. And the two are friends for 20 years. So it's his word against mine. Now, five years at least that dog is old. 
Uh, let's continue with it. It's nice. It's nice. So he says 15. I said, okay, 15. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, it's just too close. Okay. Okay, you can pay, you pay, you can pay. This is the other material. You pay, pay, pay. But you put Kirky, you This is your new Kirky, you hear? This dog is actually uh, English Terrier. Okay, English Terrier. Um, English Terrier, yeah, that's actually. No, uh, not really. It's um. Let me find this creature. But it doesn't look like this. It's uh. It's it's uh. Yeah, it, it does look a, a lot like like this. Okay, but still not bull terrier. But what is it? British terrier. They have them in London. Ah, hey, there you go. Something like this. Oh, okay. Something like this, you know. Not such a small dog. Uh, and the thing about it is that the two guys did some really unpleasant stuff. Business. And so... I promised them that on my meeting I'm going to do something really bad to them in case we ever meet in the future and he told me don't worry about it uh we're gonna have a uh, insurance with us we're gonna have this dog with us so i love dogs very much and i was playful with the dog i touched the dog but i don't know because you never know it's not even about the dog um it might not even be about the owner. This is just a strange case. The dog was involved in MK Ultra. That's why I'm saying the dog is five years old at least. And already was back then quite a big girl. So uh, too much caution in cases like in cases like this is never too much. I got a lot of surprise during MK Ultra, and you know. Nothing wrong with it, I think. It's a corporal thing here. No, no, no. No, please, man. Take, take, take. Take, take, take. Oh, God. So, this is Mesa, man. So, we will block his Julieta, man. I, I, he's, he said to me that he is from the city, right? Um, I'm gonna play the whole audio recording, no worries. That's what I'm gonna do once I'm done with it. Uh, but the thing about it is, I told him, but uh, you know, you are from apartment buildings, right? Yes or no? And he says, yes, I live in apartment building. The block another. He mentioned to me, he is actually, he goes for a swim uh, in, in a location where the next day I got a very, very bad injury because they deliberately planted me uh, accident. This is not, this is actually not exaggeration what I stated. I have proofs for stated. I even know the names, the people who were behind this stuff clearly. And this is just a real stuff. This is what you see a dam if you go up uh, up river. Okay, it's upside down, but this is going to be for another video anyways. Okay, so we go back to... So, yes, he is from apartment. 2750 changed office. Okay, so we go to 2750. Yes, I spawned on the spur of Oisky, thank you, CC Geo. Yes, 
I said to him, I I remember when you were in the army, as you stated, that, that you got a job in the army, right? I tell him this, I remember, and I'm not finished yet. I'm also wearing this jacket when I met him, as I'm wearing right now, and, and he's joking. He said, you're also camouflaged. He says, you will have some kind of jacket that is all camouflaged. And I'm determined to finish my statement. I tell him, you know, it was year 2001. I tell him it was year 2001. Okay, so now you're going to give me two credits. You're going to give me credits for me for making a statement that he is in the military already for 21 years. Even that he stated, and I don't have a time to go over that stuff, that he is age 40, I think, or 45 or whatever he states, and that his companion, which is completely quiet, for whom he also stated he's not gonna talk to me, because, you know, that's that guilt, guilt weapon, is older than even myself. I am now 50. I'll be 51 in December. So I state right now that in 2001, and it was definitely 2001, already completed the office because it was in 99, because I remember his boss, his superintendent in the military in Berlin, in Novo Mesto. Ladies and gentlemen, I was not in Slovenia between 95 and till August of 2006. That's 11 and a half consecutive years I was missing from Slovenia. I shouldn't be in fact anywhere anywhere in the world. Yet I was all over. Even inside of the military unit here in Berlin. So I tell him, I remember that in 2001 definite, definitively you changed the office. It was this old, ugly thing they had. They called office that was dark, no good. And then they gave them a nice office. Yeah. So let's see what he's going to say about this stuff. What is a he says possible, yes. Okay, so I go back in time, ladies and gentlemen, because today, pay attention. Today is August the 23rd of 2022 no less than 21 years. And they started to work on this office in year 1999. And he got a job in the military just about at 1999. That's something I didn't ask, but you can see that I pointed out that he worked for the military 21 years already. All through he worked for the military 23 years and they even changed the office 21 years ago, right? So those are powerful credits that you're going to give me. There's no way I possibly could state, point out, unless I would know what I'm talking about. I said if it was not for yourself, nah, I told him I would not know this information because he says it was here in the Novo Mesto in Berlin. Eh? And I said, obviously, you know, I said, because if it wasn't for you, uh, I would never know about this location. And he is, he is laughing. Uh, he is giving me basically a green light. He's giving me basically a backup for my statement that he was the one who demonstrated me this uh military structure on the inside so this is also one of the 
locations I was I was I it's where I served myself also this here that's what I was a soldier also one of the locations É cara que vai se existe pô. E é cara que foi. Fez o cara o grizzly lá, chama de velho. Oh, the dog, ne dog have never bitten anyone. Ah, this guy on a prowl piece than I'm for people scurvy. And they assured me, no, she did not bite anybody. You can pat her and this and that. I did pat her, but I'm careful. And when I hear them saying, no, not at all, not at all, I said, you know what? I said, you know what she said right now? And she said, what? And I said to the guys, I said, well, you know, she said, no. She says, she says, she had never bitten anybody, but you're going to be my first one. Eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like dogs a lot. No, I need to go. I need to go. I to go. Ampak tale naš kolega ta pa ima tri letno šolo. On ima pa tri letno, pa nekaj je bilo, on je pa tle zravn delo, a ni? He's got a three year education, our friend who is so silent and he used to work nearby here. And the guy says, no, I don't know about anything about this. You're going to have to ask him about it. Se pravi, tu bi moralo, tu bi moralo biti pa kaj pa, ali kar kaj kaj? A ni bilo nekako tako. Pa se pa SP. He says he was self-employed uh, all for himself. In uh, not exactly a way I would embrace that. That's not very, you know, not, not very. Okay. Uh, a difficult situation is the situation that I mentioned earlier, regardless of it. I don't think that this is what his life should be like. Uh, I think personally he should just jump on a fucking boat and cross the river basically and come to me and give me all the in and out. Uh, and so, you know, that's what I would do, you know. Yeah, you understand me? Uh, I had a fight with the psychiatric hospital. I had a fight with the whole world. I didn't give in. And for me, it's a little bit difficult to understand that, that you're on the side of a river and it's the other side of the river that separates you from life. You know, fuck it. Uh, I would do my part. But then again, maybe in this case, I don't know the whole thing. I said Westerners, I said the Russians, Serbs did not suffer any accidents, stuff related to cancers, spine breaking. None of them went through anything. It was a lie after lie, blame, guilt that was used for exactly the reasons I stated. But this guy's Slovenian guy. So I have no clue. I did, however, point it out for him as well that he had a sister who got married to somebody else, and I know so, and that he spent his life basically jobless at home, uh, receiving some form of social support, and he, he does not have beyond a three-year education, if he does have. That's all, and that's basically the only thing that I got to say, that... Also, he was employed around the year 2002, I think, right across the street. I think there was a pekarna, something like this. But those are the things yet I need to verify. And there's nothing else to say, but that's a whole a lot about two guys that I met. Now, I am not going to go over right now and play the whole audio, but I will place the whole audio for the people who speak Slovenian language so they can verify everything stated here is authentic.
there is no lies or anything like this this was recorded on august the 20 of 2022 and it's today august the 23rd of 2022 so i always give the time and date when this was recorded this video recording and the file the file i am referring to um well, that's basically this one here three four five this is a long ass file it's uh almost three and a half hours long that's what this is about yeah so that's all i'm gonna do this portion here that you see i already cut one out and i'm gonna put this as an audio it's gonna be about it's a long conversation that's why i'm not gonna go and translate the whole thing this thing is no less than 30 minutes as a matter of fact 38 minutes almost 40 minutes long and i'm not gonna go and do that you understand me now that's all i'm gonna do so if i repeat to you i verified that the two are friends they are 20 years okay not 30 all right not 30 but 20 years and not 15 as he stated uh lives in apartment building he stated to me yes uh his dog is five years old not three years as you're about to hear he's gonna state me his dog is five years old and at 2750 i pointed out he changed the office inside of this military infrastructure they changed the office uh and the year was 2001 that's 21 years ago 21 years ago and i i am also a pointed out what i stated that he is already employed inside of the military service 23 years of which change of the office he confirmed is real i'm also stating that he is inside of the military already obviously that he gave me the information about change of office so i also pointed out duration of work employment at the military those are that's another thing you're going to give me credit for now he's at the military already for 23 years um and um you know for his other friend i stated he's got a three-year school the most probably even two year uh he got a beautiful sister who would not want to get married with me i was interested in her you know i stated to you plenty of facts like this i would not know unless we would meet somewhere so he was coming down to this guy uh, that would not open his mouth he was very very quiet reserved uh, and the two befriended one another the good friends you know that kind of stuff all right so that's all there is to it right under this video i'm going to post original audio as a matter of fact a portion of this audio uh which was recorded again as i stated on the august august the 20 of 2022 now so with that being said Thank you very much for watching this video and this is this is my camouflage little jacket uh till next time